Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time with episode 110. And we are here in the Memory Den in Good Neighbor. We have made a bit of a jump. We were outside of Green Tech Genetics last time, well, along the riverbank. But uh, Fallout 4 is having more and more issues with load times, and I seriously doubt it's the SSD I have it installed on as it's a Samsung 950 Pro, it should be lightning fast, not like 40 seconds long. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't know if it's something that changed in a recent update, or maybe I am totally incompetent, which wouldn't shock me either. But I decided to skip the load screen from Green Tech to Good Neighbor and Good Neighbor into the Memory Den, so we are just right here. Now, also, this is your spoiler warning. If you don't want any story information, this is your time to jump ship. Otherwise, we're going on right ahead. Okay, folks, here we go. And let's go talk to Dr. Amari about a Corsair chip. The Memory Den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. I know. But you look very relaxed. Okay, so yes. C, Virgil. What happened? <sighs> it was rough. The seas, the seas, they were just torrential. We built a raft out of ghouls. And we sailed out to find Virgil's island. The raft broke apart. Well, some of the ghouls disintegrated, but that's another story. Anyway, we finally made it to Speaking Virgil's. Now. I'm trying to tell you you are so impatient. Okay, I'll just tell you. I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Corsair chip. A Corsair chip? You fought a Corsair? Well, yeah. Oh my God. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Corsair. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well... They're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They're called the Railroad. Huh. The Railroad, you say? Tell me more about them. The Railroad? They help since escape the Institute. I don't know who they all are. Usually an agent of theirs just shows up with someone who needs new memories. One of them gave me a code phrase. Said it would help me find them if there was ever an emergency. Follow the Freedom Trail. The Freedom Trail, you say? Any idea what the code phrase means? I'm not sure. But I remember there was a pre-war landmark. With oh, a the Freedom name. Trail. Hopefully they've placed other clues to tell you where to go after that. Hidden somewhere in plain sight. That's how they think. Alrighty. Well, I'll find them. Alright. I'll find them. Good luck. Thanks, Doc. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic. But hopefully you can figure things out as you go. Okay, a couple other notes since I was trying to fix the load times, and I don't know, maybe I did, we'll find out. Uh, all of my settings reset themselves, so we'll find out. If anything's a little weird, just let me know. Right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Actually, that loaded... I tried this earlier, and uh, it took at least two or three times as long to get out of the memory den, so maybe I did fix it a bit. Let's go find out as we try and find our way to the Freedom Trail. Maybe I didn't. It's really hard to say. Okay. 
it. Um, the reason the load times concern me is that I have a hard enough time fitting everything into the schedule as it is adding in several hours to extract them would be unpleasant at best Wouldn't and really curtail what I could do at worst. So, not super pleased at this turn of events. Whoops. Yeah, boy. What's going on down there? Ah. Nick, did you bayonet that guy? Right on. Okay, well, that went well. 938 rounds, fragmentation grenade. I did get scuffed up a bit. 838 rounds. Nick, did you find more people to play with? Four bottle caps, 1445 rounds, fragmentation grenade. Combat shotgun, 24 flares in case they need to call the uh, Minutemen, I guess. Really? Where are you? I like having fun. There he is. There you are, you bastard. Nah. There we go. Okay. Well. Now. I guess we should go check him out. Actually, let's pick up three, five, five, six rounds of military grade circuit board. And Nick. And aluminum canister. Let's see. I think I cooked something recently. Sure. We'll try and heal, get some food out of the bag, lighten up our load, and find sunshine. 945 rounds, 7556 five, rounds, fragmentation grenade, two stim packs, a short assault rifle, and things. Okay, so anyway, let's get the light turned on. And. Nope, nothing interesting there. I think there are maybe some raiders that we missed in our initial charge here. 10 plasma cartridges, 1138 rounds, fragmentation grenade, pipe pistol. Okay. Two different guys. All right. Um. That is ammo. 438 rounds. 545 rounds. Cooking station. There's some action going on over there, too. 1338 rounds and things. 1445 rounds. 15 5 millimeter rounds. Short combat rifle. I guess we can take it. And now there were some ghouls back here somewhere. 645 rounds. The Freedom Trail Boston, number three. Can we see that any better without? It looks like there's an arrow pointing at the eye. Okay. Plastic fork. Ooh, plastic. We'll take that. Toy car. Well, you can keep your toy car. Let's see. We also capped some dogs over here, but I don't think they have anything all that interesting. Mongrel dog meat. So. We've got that line. Red line. Did it go this way? It did go this way. Right there. Let's 
six O three I six O three I six O Let's oh where you're oh, hi. Guts around my neck. Yeah, sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention to you. Oh well. Eight thirty eight rounds in hide and seek. Junk, uh oh. All right, well, I guess we're in for a penny and for a pound. Eh, maybe not. 638 rounds. Oh, of course. Well, snoop them out. Pop the door. Sweet. Okay. 1438 rounds. And let's get that sniper rifle back. Reload. 438 rounds. Go back to the 10. They're here somewhere. Oh boy. Anyone you walk away from. And nothing in the meat bag. Four bottle caps, 738 rounds and things. There's red paint to this line here. Did we miss anything? Where are we? Okay, here's good neighbor. Red line, red line. Okay. 603I60. Off two letters like that. Uh, railroad, gonna guess offhand. Okay, red line. It's definitely going this way. At least it looked like it was. Vault Tech Regional HQ. Huh. Okay, I think I lost our line. So let's go back the other way. Danger Swan, okay. Then... like that line is turning in that direction unless it also turned in this direction aha across the street turned to a yeah railroad would be my guess offhand following this. Okay, core warning. Hello, tour bot. At journey's end, follow freedom's lantern. Okay, so here's the beginning. Oh. 7A. Oh, wait. 7A. No, railroad. That would be something. Okay. Uh, tour bot. Welcome, patriot, to Boston Common. The start of the freedom trail. 
feast your ears and learn more about the historic Freedom Trail. And learn the history of Boston Common. Freedom Trail. Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common. Follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. Alrighty, well, thank you, Mr. Tourbot, for your kind interaction. We shall go in the exact opposite direction. Ooh, look in. Nice, nice propaganda. And Nuka Cola, but I am carrying. I did take some time before we went to the uh, memory den to sell off a bit of inventory. So I'm not as heavy as I was when last we met, but Nuka Cola is probably not going anywhere. Okay, wait a minute. Wait just a minute here. I did not come right from there, did I? Oh, I am so confused now. All right. Where are we? Okay, we know that Good Neighbor was further along the trail. So let's head back to Good Neighbor. Okay. Okay. So, good neighbor is here, and life is a race. Billboard over the back of good neighbor back there. And over the river and through the woods. Okay, what was this? This was... Old Corner Bookstore. The Old Corner Bookstore was originally built as an apothecary after the devastating Great Fire of 1711. Originally, the land belonged to Anne Hutchinson, the controversial Puritan who was excommunicated and banished from Massachusetts for her heretical beliefs and sermons. During the mid-19th century, the Old Corner Bookstore was the home of the leading American publisher, Tickner and Fields. They published the works of such luminaries as Charles Dickens, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and Henry David Thoreau. Many of those frequent visitors to this very site. Okay, but we are hot on the trail the Freedom Trail, and so we continue. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, sorry, Nick. I got a little carried away on that one. Okay, five that bottle caps. Ooh, usual. pencil. Eh, pencil. Need to write anything down? Six ten millimeter rounds? At least I made back what I probably lost. Five three oh eight rounds. Hey, there was a raider's body at the bookstore that I never checked. Thinking back. Let's go do that now. Hmm. Oh yeah, they threw grenades at me. Five through eight rounds, five shotgun shells, a stim pack, and stuff. Alright. Back down into stealth-ish mode. Ooh, cap stash. TV dinner tray. Sure, why not? Aluminum to repair my... Oh, let's see. Cast register. 23 pre-war money. 8308... Sorry, 3, 3, 308 rounds. 5 308 rounds more. 18 pre-war money. Aluminum can. Some milk bottles. Dandy boy apples. Okay, well, you know what? I think we are basically at time here. So we are going to pause here. Nick and I will hold this position. And we will return in episode 111. But for now, I think... Nick, how many times do I have to give you different weapons? He always wants that old pipe revolver. Wish I could take it away from him. Anyway, I would like to point out that if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. 
these are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Also, I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. And there goes a super mutant. I would like to thank you guys for being the best community out there. Truly, you guys are awesome and you make this an absolute joy. And I really want to thank you for that. I would also like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.